Hello everybody, my name is Provis and welcome back to more Valheim. Took a little bit of a break from the game, I do apologize for the unannounced uh, hiatus. However, this game takes a long time to play and I've been finding myself running out of some time, so I did decide to take a small break. We're getting back into it now. Last time around, we killed the Bone Mass and I now have a Wishbone, which I apparently can use to find special hidden treasures, but not at the same time as using my superhuman strength. Shouldn't be a problem though, because what I want to do is take the wishbone all the way to the mountains. We got like three of them on my starting island. If I can take the wishbone, find some silver, well then maybe I can get access to a new useful material. So that's what we're going for. Where the frick did I put my cart? I know that I had one. I swear to God, if it mysteriously broke, I'm gonna get real peeved. Never mind. False alarm. I found it. So now I can go to the mountain and mine for literally hours. Hi ho! Hi ho! It's off to work we go! Hi ho! These lyrics actually really suck, don't they? Dang, Disney. Get some creativity. All right. Well, I'm here. Um. Wow! Frick! Frick! Frickin' wolves! All right. This is gonna be fine. We can handle it. They just freaking break my- I swear to God. Forget it, we can just rebuild the cart later. Okay, so how do I know if this wishbone thing is working? I just wander around and it starts to make something glow? I don't know. Well, I'm confused. I've been all over this dang mountain and absolutely nothing has set off my magic treasure finding wishbone even once. So unless I'm doing something wrong, I guess this really is just the most worthless mountain of all time. Except for occasionally sniping wolves. Nope, still nothing. That is now two out of three mountains with absolutely nothing to show for it. Ugh. Although granted, this last mountain is the one that had the drakes and stuff and that actually spawned. So maybe, maybe there really is like only a certain size of mountain can have anything. That would really suck if that's the case, because this means it's the only useful mountain available. Otherwise, I'm going to have to go sailing. Now, I do know that I saw a massive mountain somewhere off over here in the distance. I didn't actually sail near it, but I saw it in the distance. So I'm pretty sure there's like a Mount Everest over here. So if this turns out completely bust, I guess that's where I'm going next. Well, something's booping at me. What was? What is this? Okay, that has to be the wishbone. What was I getting close to that was making that set off? I'm not in the mountain. I'm trying to run away from a dang troll. Maybe it's letting me know that the troll has treasure on his body. I already know that. Thank you. On the plus side, there is no shortage of wolf pelts to be had out here. I'm getting plenty of those right now. So if I can ever figure out a use for those besides just decoration, <laughs> then that'll be great. Also, drakes. There are plenty of drakes. Oh my god. Seriously, is silver this rare? Three mountains and I have nothing to show for it? Really? And it can't be that the wishbone isn't working. I know that it glowed when I was running through the forest away from the troll. So I know what it's supposed to look like. Nothing on any of this. This whole trip was a waste of time. And frost potions. I'm gonna have to make more of those now. <sighs> Fine, I guess I'm gonna have to go ahead and finally build that long boat that I said I would a long time ago. Sail over these mountains and pray that I actually can find something. Well, that was a complete waste of 45 minutes. Okay, long ship, right? Let's see, build long ship. We're gonna take the deer hide, the iron nails, the fine wood, and the ancient bark, and ba-boom! Big boat! Whoa, it really is huge. This is a big one. Oh, me likey. It is, however, a lot harder to steer with this ship going down a river with lots of rocks, my god. Uh, what I may end up having to do at some point is come through here with a pickaxe and literally just clear out all the rocks in the river to make way for the boat because that took me like seven minutes to navigate and I'm pretty sure my ship has sustained a whole lot of damage. Okay, there's the mountains I'm talking about over there. Those look pretty tall, right? They look taller than the ones that were on my island. So, oh, there's rocks. If we were to land up over here, I don't know. Maybe we can find something amazing. Dear God, slow down, slow down. Wah! Okay, sure, it's gonna be fine. Oh, look, skeletons fighting gray dwarves. Have fun, guys. Jeez, these mountains are freaking steep. And a dragon egg. Already? Wow. Okay. Um, great. I probably should get my shield out for this one. Great, great. Freaking two-star wolves. Yeah, I'll, I'll pass on that one. Thank you. Oh, my God. 
Please, I'm not in the mood. Leave me alone. Oh my god, this wolf is gonna follow me all the way back to my dang boat. <laughs> These things are horrible. <laughs> I don't like wolves. Okay, he's injured. We can take him, right? Uh, let's try a... Nope! Oh god. Wow. I just had to be greedy. Had to be brave and turn around, didn't I? And I didn't bring portal materials. Ugh! Oh my god, what's this? We have finally have a bite? Oh, we've got a bite. Okay, there's gonna be some silver somewhere. Just gotta figure out where. Not that way. Okay, we're just waiting for the thing. Should be like a game of hotter and colder, right? It starts going nuts when we get really close. Hang on. Oh, frickin' Drakes! All right, you, can, you just leave me alone for a minute. I need to get some seal over. I'll come back for you when it's more opportune. Okay, right over here somewhere? Like right here? All right, let's dig around. See if we can find something. There's gotta be something somewhere. Wait, is that it? There it is, a silver vein. Oh my God, finally. <laughs> Took forever just to find the darn stuff. This is horrible, I don't like silver. All right, we got silver ore. And of course, they're not even gonna tell me what it does until I get this darn stuff smelted. Okay, but now we know, now we know that there is silver in the mountain. That was a whopping three silver ore. Oh, please tell me the veins are larger than that. For the love of God, they cannot be that small, right? And there's a little bit more over here. I'm just noticing that the wishbone's not, you know, booping at me anymore, so I'm feeling a little... I don't know why that just said too hard in several locations. Aha, the silver vein goes lower. Okay, my suspicions are correct. Excellent. Now that we know this works, I guess I'll go ahead and spend the next Three or four hours running around in the mountains. Oh my god. Okay, I think that just about clears out this vein. So I got something on the order of like 70-ish silver out of that, I think. I don't know if that's a good haul or not. Before I head back to the boat and send that back home though, I did see a very unnatural looking structure over in that direction. No idea what that could be might be an altar to the next boss, and if that's the case, I should probably mark it on the map. So let's just go over there real quick and pray that nothing horrible pops out of the woodwork to kill me. Might be fine, though. Sure, it's gonna be completely fine. Oh, good, there's two drakes now. Oh, yes, yes, this is good. This is real good. Oh, no. Was not in the mood to have to duel two dragons. Good news is drakes really are not that hard to kill. These guys are... These guys are pretty weak, I'm not gonna lie. Get some better arrows and we'll be fine. All right, so what on earth is this? What is it? What do I wanna do with it? Is it buried treasure? Does it have a whole load of silver in it? Or is it just, is it just an empty tower? No, wait, really? It can't just be an empty tower. I just happened to find an empty freaking tower? I'm trying to mine into it, but it has hit points. Wait, what is this? And why? I think it's actually nothing, but it sure looks like something, doesn't it? Well, that was kind of weird. I'm gonna have to look that up in the wiki and find out if that actually was anything. Would've been kind of cool if it was, though, you know? Secret ruins or something, find something new in the game. Maybe another source of silver so I don't have to go digging for a long time. Yeah, that would be nice. All right, anyway, so I counted it up. We got 78 silver in total, 78. Not a ton, depending a little bit on uh, how much it costs to actually make anything. We're gonna find out. And I probably should have saved the mountain for a bit longer, but I wanna smelt this stuff up and just find out what we can make. What if we get something like super useful, you know? Like a, a better pickaxe, so it's even easier to get the stuff in the future, right? I don't know, figure it's worth at least one trip back home. Oh my gosh, this ship is taking quite a beating. Yeah, we need to clear out that frickin' river. Those rocks are absolutely wrecking me. All right, so here's all the silver. That's about all that I can carry, but that's gonna be fine. Let's go ahead and take this all over to the smelters. Okay, let's see what we got. Ooh, very pretty. We're about to get flooded by recipes, I hope. Hang on, let's see what we got. All right, silver, wolf armor, silver arrows, okay. Cape, drake helmet, silver shield, a spear, and a sword. That is not as much as I was expecting, if I'm being honest. No new tools at all? It's mostly just armor and weapons. 
I mean, okay, I'm not really complaining. It's just, I, I guess I was expecting a little bit more there. Okay, so if we want to get, let's say, wolf armor, uh, silver bars plus wolf pelts and chains? Well, I do have a little chains. Oh, wait, this is actually interesting. So each piece of armor is a little different. Chains for the chest, fangs for the legs. Got those two. Uh, Drake helmet requires some Drake trophies. I got those. And... Let's see, silver shield, that looks simple enough. Silver sword, that looks normal enough. Silver and iron, 40 silver for a sword! Oh my god! What about the um, the wolf cape though? I'll bet you that's pretty sweet. I wanna take a look at one of those. Wolf fur cape. It will warm you in the snow. Resistant versus frost, wait! Does this mean that I wouldn't have to freaking take a frost potion every dang time? Maybe. Hang on, let me grab some of these pelts and stuff and try to sort through all this nonsense and find the dang... This is a horrible mess. I acknowledge that I need better organizational systems, okay? I acknowledge it. You don't need to tell me. I know. All right. Wolf fur cape. Ooh, that looks pretty good. It has the exact same armor value, though, as the troll hide cape. So it seems like capes are always kind of worthless. Except for the freaking looks, dude. <laughs> me likey. And if this does actually work as a resistance against the frost, so I don't need frost mead, like, that's huge! That saves me so much effort! So if we can expect each of these silver veins to give me about 70 on average, which is surprisingly on par with the iron we were getting out of the crypts, how many veins do I need to find? I'm guessing maybe two more, because there's no tools. So like another 100, 140 or so silver should be more than enough in order to upgrade all my armor and get everything we want, I think. At least in time for the next boss. What? am I seeing down there? There is something new wandering that I have not seen before. It's a giganto beastie thing. Should we shoot it? I mean, I'm gonna get myself to a slightly better vantage point so I can snipe this thing, but whatever it is, it needs to die for the sake of science, right? So we're gonna, we're gonna poke the, the potentially literal bear and see what happens. Well, he didn't like that. Okay. Uh, it's, it's a Fenring. What, like the Fenris wolf? Ooh, so a super evil wolf thing. Oh God, kind of looks like a werewolf actually. All right, well that wasn't too bad to do as long as you get it at a distance. We have no idea how hard that thing hits. And I did get a trophy, so at least that was kind of lucky. Cool, Fenris babies. Folks, I'd like to introduce you to my new friend, Bartholomew the Stone Golem. Now Bartholomew here, is having a particularly bad day. I stumbled across this guy as he was being harassed from the sky by a drake. Oh, he wasn't taking any damage, but that's not the point now, is it? So, being the good bloke that I am, I decided to do him a good turn and snipe that drake out of the air. But Bartholomew, instead of being grateful, has decided he is sick of the world and is now taking his frustrations out on me, and I'm gonna have to put him down as a result. Don't be like Bartholomew, kids. Be grateful to those who do you a favor. Okay, it has been uh, a fair bit of time for me. Is that a drake flying really down here? Wow, I didn't know Drake's could come this far down. Fascinating. Um, so I've been playing for a few hours, and we have finished mining out a total of three of the uh, veins of silver, which I feel like is a pretty darn good amount of silver. So I'm hoping that we're gonna find out, I don't know what he's get, uh, this guy's doing. I'm hoping we're gonna find out we have enough to work with and there's nothing else to worry about. These necks really wanna kill this Drake. Look at this. This is hilarious. They can't do a dang thing. What are they thinking? I don't know. Oh, God, there's another one. Hey! Since when did Drake's come this far down the mountain? You're not supposed to do that. You're not supposed to do that. There we go. I can deal with you no problem, though. I am the savior of the next. Bow before me, lizards. Anyway. So now that we have enough silver, I need to sail back home. One problem that I am having. I have absolutely no idea when we are going to find the next boss. I have heard tell that it is shockingly difficult to find the boss. I said bow before me. Lordy, what is wrong with you people? Um, there's been no evidence so far of where to find it. Usually by now, after exploring another large biome sufficiently, I will have found some sort of little runestone telling me where to go. That has not happened this time. And what I've heard is that you can have to search like 10 plus mountain biomes in order to actually find the dang th fourth boss. So I'm terrified that I'm gonna now have to spend the next like 10 hours sailing around in the mountains looking for the boss. 
Well, that's what I'm terrified of. And that's one of the reasons, by the way, that it's been taking me so long to record some of these episodes in Valheim. It already takes a long time. Once I found that out, it's like, oh my god, I have got to work on some other projects <laughs> instead. Anyway, here's all the silver I've collected from the last two veins. Of course, we took one back home already. Then we have all of this. So that's a pretty hefty amount of silver. That's another 156 I should be able to use. So let's head back home. Let's drop off this load, start smelting everything I got. That's going to take another few hours. And once I can craft myself a full set of silver armor, we are going to... I should not be using sails right now. We are going to go on the glorious hunt for the fourth boss. And it if it takes a long time, well, it takes a long time and so be it. One of the things that I want to do, though, probably this video, before we commit too much to uh, boss hunting is I have heard tell that in the swamps, where I had been before, you may have remembered that I noticed a couple of weird trees with some green growths on them. Apparently you can get those. I tried shooting them off, but that's not the right approach. You're supposed to try and build some scaffolds up to actually chop it down, and that apparently is something fairly important. So once I've dropped off this load of silver, I think we are going to head back to the swamp and we're going to try to extract some green tumors off of a few trees and see if that gives me anything really useful. I really do want to apologize for the people who've been looking for more of these videos. and Obviously, they kind of went off the radar for a while since the bone mass fight. I mean, really, it's, it's a large time commitment. And I did make a promise to myself when I came back from my sabbatical. I wouldn't spend more than 20 hours on YouTube per week so I don't reach burnout again. Gotta say, I've not been doing great on that front so far, but partly because I've convinced myself since we've had a lot of sponsored videos going on lately that that's, you know, worth it because those are huge benefits to the channel. Like, for real. Uh, every, people people sometimes don't like them, but, like, they make a big difference to, to, my, to the channel's financial health. So I have to prioritize those a little bit there. But then you just find yourself not with a lot of time left over. It's like, ah! I, do, can, can I really justify playing another 10 hours of Valheim this week? No, I need to spend some time with my wife. So that's basically what it's been coming down to at this point. And I think I've made the right decision, but I really do still love this game, and I'm looking forward to continuing playing it. I really want to beat it, dang it. Or at least, you know, as much as you can beat a game in early access. I'm fully aware that there's a lot more content that needs to be coming out, which sounds pretty nice, uh, and it needs it, frankly. Uh, the game is awesome, even in its current state. But I'm noticing a definite lull in content. Um, that deer is just... Okay, what are you doing? Uh, lull in content after the bone mass. Like, the transition from the third and fourth boss is so much longer for a solo player. It's a rough one. It is a rough one. So I'm hoping they're going to add more things to do. Um, more quality of life changes and stuff. And I think they will. This game so far being very well supported. I'm liking it. Looking forward to seeing where it's going to go. But uh, if, this, if this all keeps up, then maybe in the next two or three videos, we will find and kill the fourth and the fifth boss, and that'll be it for at least a while. Which would be sad, but also an awesome achievement. I'm looking forward to it. Okay, pulling into dock right about here. This is almost perfect. Oh, look at that. I'm becoming a boatmaster. This is good. Okay. So we have safely transported all the silver. Now begins the mass smeltage. Okay, add in more silver ore, and that's about all that I can handle at the moment because I'm way, way, way too encumbered, but okay. So we've got ourselves some poison resistance, we got some wood for some scaffold building. Um, which portal was it? I actually don't even remember. I think maybe it was this one? Let's get back into the swamps and see if we can find one of those tumor trees. Ah, there's one, okay. Yeah, I kind of figured that uh, grabbing a small boat and just running up and down the coast is probably going to be the fastest way to find any of these. Certainly safer, too. Unless, of course, it's a sea serpent, which could happen, but I'm hoping not. All right, so those little guys are the things we need to get, somehow. Should be doable as long as we can safely place down a workbench. And, yeah, it turns out the iron sword is still pretty darn good. Haven't even built a silver sword, but supposedly the um, silver sword with the spirit damage actually does more damage to undead. Which seems just great. Hi, Draugrs. I see you, but do you see me? Well, apparently not, because you just got sniped. Both of you did. Wow. Not very observant, are you? Let's get this blob out of the way. Excuse me. Thank you. Don't have time for this. So, green tumor near the base. Guck Sack. Gross. Guck. Draugr Fang. Nubo. <gasps> Nubo. 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 Need it. Need Nubo. 
You know, I don't know if this tree counts as a support so that this stuff doesn't collapse under its own weight. I really hope it does, though, because some of this is, like, stupidly high up. All right, can we get that guck? We can indeed. Six more guck. How much I got? Eight? How much do we need? I'll bet it's just something stupid like 20. We probably need, like, 20 guck. Yeah, this is safe. This is definitely super duper safe. I see a bit more that we missed down on the ground down there, so maybe that's enough. We should probably go back to the base and find out how much guck we actually need, because I definitely want that bow. Okay, home sweet home. Fortunately, this guck stuff can go through the portal. So, Draugr Fang. There it is. This takes 10 guck. Oh, we got plenty. Okay, yeah, no, I can do all this. So what's the power of a difference? 47 versus 42. Not, not a very big difference. Um, however, it automatically applies poison. Well, now that is interesting, unexpected, okay. Okay, let's see if we can craft one of these puppies and see what it can do for us. Doink, all right, we have a Draugrfang. Replace that here and equip. Is it? Oh, it glows. Oh, I like it. Okay, well that's gonna be very helpful against the next boss, I have no doubt. Can we even upgrade this thing? Oh, we totally can. And we totally shall! This is amazing! Well, I'm very glad that I found that. Okay, so now I need to smelt the rest of my silver, craft myself a full set of silver armor and silver weapons, get some upgrades, and then I'm gonna spend the next, who knows how long, just exploring and looking for mountains, and praying that we can find the next boss in a timely fashion. But I think that's a good place for us to end right here. So thank you all for watching. I do hope that you enjoyed. If so, then I would ask that you hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time.